hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to share and subscribe to my videos in this video i'm going to be showing you how to cut out this lace pattern on your kaftan this kaftan is what i make i'm it's what i'm making at the moment for myself so on my other channel i'll be posting the how i sew it and how i made it but in this channel i'm just going to show you how to do this straight one this um ankara lace you see at the middle of the lace so let's get started here on my table this is what i have here i've already cut out the, the ankara lace from my ankara so what i cut out here was four and a half inches so i'm going to place it on on this lace i'm working on at the moment this is the front panel which I'm going to place my this and carry on this. So let's let me keep this aside. So and also what I'm gonna be using is my elastic. This elastic I cut it into tiny pieces because that's how I want it. So what I did, I just bought this elastic. I think I bought it one pound, and I just cut it like this, tiny bit. I just took my time to cut it tiny, tiny. And I was very patient with it. Cut it tiny, tiny. So I just cut it from top, from the top here, to the end. So that's what I. That's how I, how I was able to achieve these stripes of elastic you see here. So if you want to know how to measure your Ankara for that uh, design, what you simply do is you see the length of the kaftan. So for that kaftan, my length is fifty nine. So because I like to work with a lot of fabric on my project, so that 59, I had I had 59 three times, that is 59 plus 59 plus 59. So what I had was 179. So the length of this Akara here, this one and this one is 179, that's the length. Then the weight is four and a half inches. So. So what I'm going to do now, the next step I'm going to do is, I'm going to take my take my my machine, yeah. Let me keep this aside so I can see what I'm doing. So I will take this to my machine, sewing so machine. This is my the wrong side of my Ankara fabric. Then I'm going to take six inches. Yeah, I have six inches. Yeah, this half an inch. I'm going to take. Uh, point zero point six. May yeah, I call it? So that's not six inches. Zero point six. From yes, this is from. I'm going to take zero point six here. So I'll use my shock. Use zero point six here. I'll place it here like so. Then I'll mark it out. Zero point six there. Then zero point six. So I'm going to mark it. To I'm going to mark both sides to the ending of this so when i finish marking it then i'll take it to my sewing machine because that will be my sewing allowance because i need to tidy up both edges here yeah. i'll take it to my sewing machine then i'll just fold it like so tiny neat to meet the 0 0.6 top there just to tidy up the edges so I'm going to my sewing machine to do that. My friends, as you can see, I've tidied up the both edges here and the other side. So you know, remember, is two into two. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to stitch it together like this to make it one, one long, long rope. So, I put the right side of the fabric and the right side of the fabric together like this. I make sure that both sides are equal. Then, I'm going to take half an inch from there. Half an inch and I'll stitch it. Which I'm going to do now. I'll 
turn it aside like this to smooth it out i push you see this i push it back this way You also tidy up the tip. You push it to the wrong, to the wrong, wrong side of the fabric, like this. Then you tidy it up and stitch it, like so. Let's move it like this. See how I did it? Then you stitch it or throw down. You do the same thing on this other side as well. On the down part of it. Sorry. Do the same thing on this other side as well. So now, the next step is to place my long akara on my table. Then, what I'm going to do here, this is the wrong side of the fabric. I'll now go, I'm, I'm going to measure it both sides out. So, the length from here is 4 inches. So I want to place my elastic to make sure it's, it's at the middle of this. So for me to achieve that, what I will do is, you know, here yeah, it's four inches. So I'm going to, if you divide four inches by two, what you get is two. So from here, I'll take my shock. I'll start measuring, measuring at the, the midpoint, at the two inches here. That's my middle of my Ankara. So I'll go here like this, make sure two inches from here to there. It's two inches. So what I'll do here, you see this is my elastic. I place it at the midpoint like so. Then I'll take my pin to pin it. Now I know that is my midpoint. So to make sure I'm on the right side, I'm going to be needing. I'm going to make sure that I stretch it around the two inches here, like so. This is two inches. So I'm just going to mark it straight, two inches, straight down, two inches. So that's what I'm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing from there to the end of this, to the end of it. Now, my friends, I've marked it to the end of this place here. I'm going to stop here. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. Then when I'm stitching it, I will show you. So you see what I did here? I placed it at the middle of my Ankara. So I'm going to stitch it, making sure this, my Ankara, sorry, this my last is at the middle of this. I'm going to follow the line that I drew out. So I'll stitch slowly. Stitch again slowly. Slowly. Then I'll back stitch a bit. Then now I'll start pulling slowly to gather my Akara. Now push slowly. Making sure it's at the middle. You know, remember this elastic is so tiny, so you have to make sure it's at the middle of it. So I stretch again. I'm making sure it's at the middle of my line, which I drew out. I stretch again slowly again. And I stretch again slowly again. Stretch again.
so that's what i'm going to be doing till i get to the bottom of it my friends now i've got it to the end of that elastic so this one is another elastic which i'm going to add to it so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to lift up my sewing machine then place this elastic on top of the other one then i press it down then i slowly slowly sew but this time i'm not stretching it this time So now I'm going to backstitch to secure this elastic to the other one, which I, you know, I had it together like bottom bread. So that's what I did. So now I will start stretching slowly. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this method throughout to like get to the bottom of my Ankara. I've got it to the end where I'm where my marking stop. I'm going to take this off again. Take off my Ankara from there. Then I'll start marking at my middle. My middle of my Ankara there. So I'll know where to place my elastic. So I'll start marking from there. So I get to where I, can, I will stop. So my friends, as you can see, I finished stitching the Ankara. You can see it's all like a coily thing. See that? So now I've done these bits. So the next thing I'm going to do here is my lace. This lace, I cut it from my kaftan, which I'm making. It's the length from my kaftan. So i'm going to tidy up the lace what i'm going to do here is i'm going to like this you see just tidy it up and cuff it in to make it like a tiny rope you see that then i'm going to take it to my machine and i'm going to stitch it down just cover it in like this And stitch it down that's what I'm going to do in this with my lace see the way I'm going to stitch it down when it so when I stitch it down you see the, how it looks like it look neat and tidy at the front so my friends you can see I've already tidied up that lace I showed you earlier so these stripes what I'm going to do here, if I want to place it on my lace fabric, I'm not going to stitch this on top of this. It's only when I place it on my on my lace fabric at the mid spot, that is when I will I will stitch this to this. So I'll just use this as an example. So when I place it at my mid spot, mid spot of my lace, I'll place this like so, and the middle of where I place my last elastic. I'll pin it down. You see what I did? So I'll go like this again. I'll make sure it's at the mid spot. Take my pin. I'll pin it down. All these raffles here, make sure you stretch it out and place it there like so. You see? Then I'll pin it down on my lace fabric. So when you do that on your akara, sorry, on your lace, you see that you're going to achieve. Let me finish pinning to the end of my of my table here yeah, for you to see the design of how it's going to look like. So my friends, you can see that I pin it on top of my work table uh, fabric. But on your, on your lace, you pin it at the middle of your lace. At the middle. 
so if you want to see how i made that akara booboo please check out my other website that is where i sew my clothes but yeah i just do bits and bits of sewing so this is how you go to achieve that look that you saw on that thing on my picture so for now let me go and before I, go, I don't know i don't know if i remember if i told you this that when you place it on your lace you, you have to pin it and when you pin it then you now stitch at the middle gently 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 you don't rush it gently gently you now stitch it you now achieve a beautiful outlook on your boo boo so for now let me go so for now one love one peace and bye for now and don't forget to subscribe so bye for now